Hello guys, good evening everybody. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> welcome everybody to this new class. People, be well, welcome everybody. This is class number 15. So there are missing five classes more guys. So, and that means there is a lot of vocabulary and exercises that we are going to do. So, let's see. Okay, people. Today is a really good day because we are going to practice auxiliaries in English. So, do me a favor. If it is possible, activate your cameras and let's begin with today's class, guys. Thank you so much, people. The ones that activated the camera, good. Thank you. Really appreciate it. De aquí, en ocho días, guys, vamos a estar terminando nuestra, nuestro curso. ¿Ok? Entonces, todavía hay alrededor de... Eh, ok, Jennifer, don't worry. Enjoy your meal. So, people, eh, there, there are still 25 points of attendance available. Nos quedan 25 puntos de attendance todavía, entonces ya vieron ahí, ahora les envió Jessica el attendance. Try to not miss classes. Aparte de eso, se vienen bastante información, entonces please do not miss classes. Ok. So, people, and let's see. Before we start the class, guys, before we start, uh, well, I haven't checked the exams yet. I will check them tomorrow. Mañana voy a revisar los, los exámenes. But most of the answers, he visto la mayoría y la mayoría han sacado entre 30 preguntas, 30 respuestas buenas, 30 
cinco hay algunos, otros. Estamos bien, ¿ok? Still, there are some little cases that we need to work in practice, guys. Simple pass. That's something you need to practice. So, that's, that's it. Let's see, guys. Give me one second. Okay. Let's begin with today's class, people. Empecemos la clase. So, there is something I want to show you. Yesterday, guys, we practiced this. Could you, would you mind if, uh, well, try to watch the class again. So please, people, let's see. I want to ask you some little questions. Uh, Carla, could you tell me what is your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Um, my favorite restaurant is the Tacos del Gordo. Gordo. Okay, good, yeah. excellent. Thank you. Sandra, could you tell me what is your favorite music what is your favorite music um uh, my favorite music in general is electronic music or music electronic electronic um, music electronic music um i love an adele um coldplay only good <laughs> excellent Great. Luis, um, tell me, Luis, would you mind telling me one thing you don't like to do? Would you mind telling me one thing you don't like to do? Uh, I don't, I don't want, uh, uh, Como sería collapsing bus us uh, what sorry collapsing bus o, o no sé si sería pero sería cuando va muy colapsado el bus ah so it will be overcrowded buses buses crowded you can say crowded or you can say overcrowded buses you don't like it especially in these days uh i don't know but people smell really funny you know so i understand yeah i i get you okay good let's see i want to ask nelson would you mind telling me one memory from your childhood One childhood memory. Would you mind telling us one? Repeat, teacher, please. Yes. Would you mind telling us one childhood memory that you have? How do many children have? 
childhood, infancy, infancy, when you were a kid. Mm, I don't una remember. Memoria, one memory, una memoria from ah. your childhood, de su infancia. Would okay. you mind telling us one memory? Um... Something that you remember. I read the history in the class. Okay, good, excellent. Let's see another memory, guys. Remember something from your childhood. Telling me. Um, would you mind Telling me one memory of your childhood. Marvin, one childhood memory that you have. Uh, um, I don't know. When I went to I went to school. I usually went to school in a in a bus. And I always, eh, eh, ¿cómo sería? How do you say, mi turno siempre fue de mañana? My classes were always in the morning. Okay. I always take class in the morning. Okay, good. Always in the morning. Did you like them? Uh, Did you like yeah. it in that way? Yes, I prefer. I prefer in the morning or in the evening. I don't like class in the evening. Okay. Good, excellent. Let's see, people. Let's go right now. Let's remember this topic a little bit, okay? So guys, could you remember when we use could you, you will use Normal verb, okay? Could you call me? Could you make? Could you tell me? Could you contact? Okay, we use normal verbs, base form verbs, okay? When we use would you mind, le importaría, we use ing. Would you mind calling? Would you mind getting? Would you mind sending? Okay? That's what it is. Could you make 10 copies? Would you mind making 10 copies of this paper? Could you contact the tech support? Would you mind contacting the tech support? Could you call me later? Would you mind calling me later? And that's it. That's the way how we use this one, okay? Questions, people. Do you have any questions? Ayer trabajamos en algunos exa examples. I want to hear your examples again. Veamos, okay? Hubieron personas que no les pregunté ayer. So, let's see. I don't remember if I asked you already or not. Si ya le pregunté, vuelva a decírmela. It doesn't matter. Better, we practice. Uh, let's see. Reina, could you tell me your examples, please? Dice, Reina le pidió permiso. I'm sorry. No he visto el... el eh. So. En el WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, Ana Reina de Méndez. Okay, so, yeah. 
Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, also. Carmen N. Who's this? Sirom 84. Well, we will discover it. Anyways, let's see. Carla, help me with your example, please. Okay, could you clean my office? Could you write the report? Would you mind cleaning my office? And cleaning my office? And would you write the report? Good, excellent. Thank, thank you so much. Let's see. Luis, can you help me with your example, please? Uh, yes, it's true. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Would, would you mind telling me your t-shirt size? Uh, would you mind washing the clothes? Great. Good job. Uh, repeat, t-shirt. 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 Good. Excellent. Thank you so very much. Good. People, do you have any problem with this one? I think this is kind of easy, pero es de acostumbrarnos. A veces no nos gusta ocuparlo, ocupamos el que. Y a mí mismo me, me pasa. I use other words like can or I use uh, other expressions. I don't use this one. So it's just matter of getting used to it. And that's it. Questions with this one, guys. No questions. Everything clear. Teacher, so let's move. Let's move on to the next one. Uh huh. Tell me. Teacher, um, I have the sentence um, to yesterday. Go ahead. Um, tell me. Uh, okay. Would you mind having breakfast with me at the Monday? Would you, would you mind? Would you mind having having breakfast with me at the Monday? Excellent. Would you mind having breakfast with me on Monday? Just that thing. On Monday. Okay. Thanks. Good. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Next one, guys. Well, anyways, that's it. Let's continue with the next topic, guys. Very interesting topic, by the way. People, how can we add, give Pieces of advice and suggestions. Como dar sugerencias y recomendaciones. Advice, that is recommend. Well, advice means consejos. Okay? Suggestions, sugerencias. How can I do it? Let's go right now, people. So, let's see the verbs first. To give advice. People advise, we use should. Should. Repeat everybody, guys. Should. ¿Se acuerdan del could? Should. Este es igual. La L es muda y suena shu. La O tampoco suena. Should. Should. Yeah. Repeat should. everybody. Should. Yeah. Should. Good. Good. Excellent. That's a modal verb. It is used to give advice and recommendations what is the structure should plus the base form you look tired Parece cansada. you should go to bed okay that means it is a good thing to it is a good thing to do you should go to bed okay mm. i see that you have problems with the past you should study the verbs. Okay. 
Mm, you look tired. You no, you look tired is there. Uh, you let's see. Well, you have problems with your computer. You should use your cell phone. Negative, we use shouldn't. Okay. Shouldn't plus the base form. She shouldn't buy the dress. It's too expensive. People, you shouldn't uh, speak in Spanish. It delays your English process. Okay. You shouldn't be shy. You need to practice shy, timid. Is the same. Shy, timid, introverted is the same. So she shouldn't buy that dress. It's too expensive. And for questions, should at the beginning, then your subject, and then the base form. What should I do? What should I do? Question. What should I do? I want to learn English. What should I do? <coughs> I'm sick. <coughs> what should I do? I want to travel to United States. What should I do? And so on. That is should, guys. Questions. Do you have any question with should? This is a modal verb. Okay? No lo mezclamos con ninguna otra cosa. No decimos, you don't should. You shouldn't don't. No. She is should. No. I am should go to the park. No, that's impossible. Okay? You cannot use it. It's a modal verb. Agrego S cuando digo she shoots. No. You don't have S. So it's it remains the same. That's why it is called a modal verb. No modal of a good manner. No es modal porque suena más elegante. Se llama modal porque cambia el modo de la oración. Okay? So, sure. like that. Question, people. Do you have any question? Is uh, it just everything clear? Go ahead. Tell me. Este, las oraciones con should únicamente se pueden para el presente. No podría ser, por ejemplo, para el pasado. Sí, hay una forma del pasado, pero eso la va a aprender cuando ya vaya avanzado. Because it's a really advanced topic. El pas sería la estructura should have. Yo debería haber. Y luego el pasado participio del verbo. Yo debería haber comido. I should have eaten. Should have eaten. Pero esa es otra historia. Sí tiene pasado. Tiene futuro. Ya lo vamos a ver cuál es el futuro de should. También. Pero no es casi muy usado ni el futuro, el pasado sí, pero el futuro casi no. Ok. Any other question, guys? Ok. There is another pair that's similar to should. Ouch. 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 Oh. Ouch. Ok. Ouch is a modal verb. It is the same meaning as should, very same, but it's more formal and it is not used in English anymore. If you read the Bible, si está leyendo la Biblia, ahí se va a encontrar con el ought to. Está leyendo Shakespeare. You will find ought to. Okay? Nowadays, it's very formal. Okay? Nobody uses it. I should phone my parents. El ought to, solo le pone el to phone. I ought to phone my parents. En should sería, I should phone my parents. Llamar por teléfono. Phone my parents. You oughtn't have ordered so much food. No debería saber lo que, les di, lo que me preguntaron ahorita. So, have ordered. Haber, haber ordenado. You oughtn't have ordered so much food. Ought she call the police? Ought she call the police? That's it. Okay? 
That's how you use it. Eso es para que ustedes lo sepan. Algún día se lo van a encontrar. You can use it, but it's not normal. That's for you to know it. Now let's move to suggestions. How can you express suggestions? Sí, podemos decirlas con should. Pero también puedo decirla de esta manera. What about? How about? Ok, cualquiera de las dos. You want to give a suggestion. ¿Por qué no, por qué no estudian los verbos en, en, en inglés? How about starting? You use ing. How about starting the verbs in English? What about uh, trying to study new vocabulary? What about changing your computer to English? Or maybe your cell phone. How about changing your cell phone to English? It will work. Esto es bien avanzado si lo ocupan, guys. Please use it. Okay? How about? Why don't? Why don't you? Why don't we? Okay? No puedo ocuparlo con she. Why doesn't she? Sí se puede, pero no es tan común. Okay? So, why don't, ¿por qué no? Why don't we watch? Primero dice why don't y luego la oración normal. Why don't we study more vocabulary? Why don't you study more vocabulary? Why don't you travel to the United States? Why don't you have a new job? Why don't you apply for this position? Why don't you? Good. También puedo ocupar el could para dar suggestions. ¿Ok? Ya vimos que el could lo puedo ocupar para sonar más formal. Es el pasado de can. Y uh, lo puedo ocupar para decir sugerencias. You should learn vocabulary. You could learn more vocabulary. ¿Ok? Sugerencia. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? No hay ninguna. No hay ninguna diferencia. Grado de, grado de obligación más, grado de obligación menos. But that is not uh, a big difference. People, ¿cuál es el futuro de should? Shall. Pero importante, solo puedo ocupar el shall con I y con we. Ok. No digo shall you. Y lo ocupo para ofrecer algo. ¿Ok? Dando una sugerencia, pero ofreciéndola. Eh, shall I bring you some drinks for the, pic for the picnic? Estaría bien si yo traigo. Podríamos traducirlo como debería de traer. ¿Ok? Es shall is the same as should. So that's the only scenario that you will use shall in the future. Okay, that's it. Shall I? Shall we? Shall we continue with the presentation, guys? Uh, estaría bien. Deberíamos continuar con más. Is it okay for you? Shall we? Sh veo que le falta... Uh, I don't know. Le falta... Tiene gripe. Pero no quiero sonar tan impertinente y decirle tome ese limón con... Con miel, yo le digo. Mm, shall I give you a tip? ¿Estaría bien si le doy un, un consejo? ¿Podría darle un consejo? No tiene una traducción fija, guys. That's the magic of this one. You sound very formal, by the way, when you use it. Let's. También para dar sugerencias. Hey, let's practice together. Pero eso lo involucra a usted también. Es decir, nosotros. Let's... Hey, you know, I have a problem. I am sick. So let's go to the doctor. Vámonos al doctor. Ahorita yo lo llevo. That's when you use let's. Let's. ¿Ok? Significa que los dos hacemos. I don't want to eat. I feel not hungry. Hey, let's prepare something delicious for you. Preparemos algo rico para ti. 
I want you to eat. Let's prepare something. Me involucre. Si quiere involucrarse, you say let's. And would you like to? Quisiera usted. Would you like to? Ya está arreglada la expresión. No le va a hacer nada. Would you like to? Y luego verbo normal. Would you like to come with me at the party? Suggestion. Okay? En forma de pregunta. We will see the would like en un par de semanas, en un par de días, guys. Next week. We will see would like. So, people, questions. Do you have any question now? No questions? Teacher. Yeah, tell me. El, el would you like to únicamente es para el you. No se podría ocupar con otro. Sí, con pero otro... no es común. Como. Sí puedo decir ella quisiera comer pan, pero ya no estoy dando una sugerencia ahí. ¿Quisiera ella comer pan? Mm, quiero, not really. So, ya no es sugerencia. Se convierte más en un deseo. Y esa es ah. otra cosa. Ahorita, para dar suggestions, we can use, would you like to? Would you like to come to the party? Would you like to practice more? That would be helpful. Sí se puede, pero lo veremos más adelante. Don't worry. Should people remember the L is silent and we say should. Should. You should. Should. Mm. Nada de chul, chul, shall. No. Should. Could. The L is silent again. We say could. Would. Otra vez. The L is silent. So, todos tienen la misma particularidad. Suenan con el sonido de would. Should, could, and would. Okay. This one. Out. Out. La G is silent. You don't say out. No. Okay. That's the pronunciation. Questions. Do you have any question? People, let's see. Select one of these situations and give me three recommendations. Tres recomendaciones. ¿Ocupando qué? Ocupando cualquiera de estos. Or using should as well. Or ought to. I don't know. You give me the... the you select whatever you want. Select one and give me three... Three suggestions. Three recommendations. Three pieces of advice. People, no digan advices. Eso es algo que se me olvidó agregar. Advices, it's incorrect. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque no se puede hacer plural esa palabra. Pero en español sí. Yes, in Spanish, yes. But in English, no. ¿Cómo digo consejos? Pieces of advice. Eso es consejos en plural. Pieces of advice. Es igual que homework. Homework no se dice homeworks. Se dice homework assignments, si son varias. O puede decir assignments, assessments, ¿ok? Pero no diga pieces of advice. Perdón, no diga pieces, no diga advices. That's incorrect. Pieces of advice. I will give you three pieces of advice. So, guys, let's select one and tell me what should I do. I use this one in my classes. So people, in, instead of a school, do my work. For my work.
teacher. Tell me, mister. Eh, serían este, tres recomendaciones por cada una. No, select one and give me three recommendations. Only one. Oh. Okay. You select one and three recommendations. Usando cualquiera de los que hemos visto hasta ahorita. Okay, thank you. Not too. just only should. Try to use the other ones. Did you finish, people? No. No yet. More time. Okay. Yes. Two minutes more, please. Okay. Try to use not only should. Use the other ones. Y ocupe los que tenga, los que sean más difíciles de ocupar. Use them. That's a good recommendation. I finished, teacher. You finished. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates.
finished. Okay. Let's see. Help me reading the problem and tell me to tell me your recommendations. Okay. So volunteer who wants to try. Voluntario. Somebody. Let's see. Me? I want. I don't know. Jennifer, can you help me, please? Let's listen to. Nelson, can you help me? Okay. Yeah, teacher. Ah. Ne later, you, lady. So let's see. Nelson, help me. Tell me the problem and give me the recommendations, please. Um. Okay. You soon travel to Canada. Well, I want to improve my English. That's the thing. Which is the problem? Uh, you should travel to Canada. Okay. ¿Cuál es el problema de estos cuatro? ¿Cuál es la... la what is the, the situation you selected? ¿Cuál situación eligió? I want to improve my English. Grammar. Okay, okay. Um... No, la pregunta es, ¿cuál es la situación? Ahorita me está dando la recomendación, pero ¿cuál, cuál es el problema? ¿Cuál es la, cuál es el, la situación? Ah, ok. Um, no seleccionó yeah. ninguna situación. Ok, ninguna situación. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So, you should travel to Canada. ¿Qué más? What other sentences do you have? Okay. Um, you should drink wine today. Okay. And One more. You should do exercise. You should do exercise. Good. Okay, that's good. Try to use the other ones. Recuerde, podemos ocupar los otros también. Like, for example, these are the ones that we saw. You can try them. So, next time. Okay, let's see, Jenny. Help me, please. What do you select? Teacher, yo me levanté y no supe lo que vamos a hacer. Ah, okay. So, uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. Pero estoy worry. escuchando los ejemplos y... Okay, watch the class so you see the, the parts that you have missed. Let's see. Veamos. I want to listen to Diego. Can you help me here, please? To you learn more English vocabulary. Okay, what else? Uh, show you. So, to you go to the hospital. Veamos algo, mister, before we continue. Look at the structure. Mire la estructura. What is the structure? First, your subject should in base form. Entonces, ¿cómo quedarían sus ejemplos? ¿Cómo quedarían? So, first, so your then, subject. What would be? Should learn more English vocabulary. You should learn more English. Repeat after me. You should learn more English. You should learn more English vocabulary. vocabulary. Next, uh, please. You you should go. To the hospital. And the last one. Uh, solo eso, lo hice. 
Only two. Okay. Sandra, help me, please. And then Marvin. Uh, let's begin with Sandra. Please. Um, question. I want to make more friends. What should I do? Good. Uh, why don't the we visit a park? And to you call talk to co workers. Um, free. Let's go to a party. Um, there you meet <clears throat> more people. <clears throat> Yeah, why not to go to a party? Let's go to a party. You can meet friends there. Excellent, lady. I like it very well. No solo grupo should. Well, you didn't use should. So, good. Let's see. Marvin, go ahead. Help me. Okay. I select. I, I'm often late for work. What shall I do? Uh, you should wake up. Early, you should select your clothes one day before. You should go to the bed early, and you I don't remember how se pronuncia out. Así como lo acabo de pronunciar. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. You out reveal yourself when the next day you job. Super good job, excellent. Great, I like it. Well done. Somebody else who wants to try. Let's see, Walter, do you want to try? <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. Este, I hope some night the world was good work to do you. Re repeat again which one i i often lay work what should do what should i do repeat what should what i do? what should i do excellent uh-huh uh, you should get up 30 minutes before good uh, you should uh, activate alarm you should Set your alarm. Set. Set, set alarm. Set, set an alarm. Event. Yep. You should set alarm. Um you should sleep more more time. Okay. You should eat you should sleep more time. No sería no sería eso un poco malo. Más tiempo. Probably you should Sleep earlier, más temprano. You show you should go to bed early. Go to you bed early. Go to go to bed. Go to bed. People don't don't say go to. Los americanos dicen go to. You should go to bed. Go to go to go to bed early. Good. Thank you, Walter. Next. You're who wants to be the next one? Kenya, do you want to try? Let's go, lady. Hello. Yes, I as for like phone war, what should I, I do? Repeat. I'm often late for work. I often late for, for work. work. Late for work. <laughs> what should I do? What should I do? Great. Is I should help out early. Excellent. I all go to sit early. Next. Great. <laughs> Just that. Great. Good job. Thank okay. you so much, lady. Excellent. Okay, people. That's the way it goes, right? That's how we use should, okay? So, eh, let's practice a little bit should 
with this one. And later I will tell you something that we will do. Okay. Uh, people. Just give me a second. help me i have a problem i want to improve my english improve what is the meaning of improving in spanish improvisar no not improvisar mejorar 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 i want to improve my english what should i do okay people Tell me three pieces of advice. Dígame tres razones, perdón, tres consejos. Pero en esos consejos, díganme por qué es importante. For example, if you ask me, I want to improve my English, what should I do? Yo le diría, well, how about learning vocabulary? It's very important. Watch videos on YouTube, read books, Listen to music. Eh, see the lyrics. Letra. Lyrics. See the lyrics of the songs. Uh, also, you should talk in English in your classes because you practice the vocabulary. And the last thing, you should talk to Americans. It's very important because you practice pronunciation and you practice with American people. They can tell you corrections or things. That's it. Then people, Damon, give me please. Uh, reasons, díganme razones no solo me digan la que haga díganme razones, sé que va a ser un poco difícil right now, but let's try to work on it, trabajemos en eso eso nos va a ayudar a mejorar nuestro inglés people it will help us a lot ok, so let's practice let's practice right now trate de solo escribir las ideas si siente que es muy difícil solo, escribir, solo escriba las ideas ¿Ok? Y luego vamos a pasar al frente a decirlo. Entonces, practicar, practicar, practicar. That's what we are going to do. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Hay bastante gente que ahorita no puede practicar. Entonces, I will create three groups. Tres grupos. Para que practiquemos con nuestros compañeros. ¿Ok? Preguntas. Do you have any question? What we are going to do now? Preguntas, dudas, no. Let's go. Let's practice now. I want to improve my English. What should I do? Deme recomendaciones. Dígame qué hacer. Dígame si ya usted lo hizo. Let's do it like that. Vámonos, guys. Let's go. We are going to practice 15 minutes.
Did you finish, guys? Are you ready? Mm, yeah, I finished. Okay, good. Let's see, let's go back. Just give me one minute and we will go back to the main session, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. You finish, people? Ready? You should the cell phone in the, in the grammar English. Ya llevamos six. Okay, good. Vámonos ya. Yes. So in that case, okay. let's do it now. Let's go, guys. Let's wait for everybody, people. They are coming now, just wait. That's quite people. Okay, people, let's see. Volunteer, who wants to be a volunteer? Tell me what should I do to improve my English? I want to improve my English. What should I do? Me, teacher. Okay, lady, that's excellent. You should to dedicate more time <laughs> you should listen to music in English. You could read a book. You could practice more time. Sorry. You could practice more vocabulary in your daily routine. Why should I listen to music in English? Why? Uh, for practice vocabulary. Okay, and good. Pronunciation. <laughs> you see, that's what you need to do. Yes. Give me reasons why. Okay, good. Excellent. The okay. should, it was really good. Agreguemosle más información. Try to give more information, people. That's going to help us a lot. But it was okay. good. I like okay. it. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. Help me, please. Next one. Who wants to be the next one, people? Uh, me. Excellent. Go ahead. Tell me. Okay. Uh, What's your name? 
you should read and sing the lyric of the song because you will know more vocabulary. Uh, you should practice your pronunciation. It's very important because you talk when because when you talk with other person, it will understand better. Better, sorry. Uh, you should watch videos about grammar that you could help your organize the sentence better. Better. Excellent. Good, mister. I like it, all the information you added. That's the idea, guys. Try to provide details. That's super. Good job. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see. Next one. Who wants to be the next person? Me, teacher. Luis, go ahead. Tell me. I want to improve my English. What should I do? You should travel to England or United States uh, because you you will talk uh, with people who speak English. And why don't you practice making sentences in English so you can write better in English? Would you like uh, to inscribe to English class? Then a teacher will teach you English well. Only that. Mister, good job. You know, fluency is the only thing missing for this one to be perfect. But it was amazing. I congratulate you. And it's not just because I want to say congratulations. Blah, blah, blah. No, you did a great job. I really like it. De eso se trata. Lo que aprendan, pónganlo en práctica. So, Luis, good job. I really like it. Eh, another person. Who wants to be the next one? Volunteer. We have time for everybody. Somebody else? Walter, I see you in your face. You want to participate. Yeah, mister. Go ahead, uh, mister. Tell me, what should I do to improve my English? You should practice vocabulary on daily routine. You should little presentation for practice. Um, you should practice conversation in the mirror. Why should I co uh, why should I practice conversation in the mirror? Uh, maybe uh, are you good evening? My name is Walter Maldonado. Uh, I have worn in the Lola. I have 20 years hair holes. Anyway, what's your name? Why is my it name? important? Why do you think that is important? Um, we're practicing in the mirror. Yeah, uh huh. Uh, maybe it's the maybe in. in the eliminaron timidez. Okay. To eliminate shyness. Shyness. Shyness, timidez. Okay. Good. Try to provide details. That's one thing you need to do. Dar un poco más de información. Eso nos va a ayudar bastante. Besides that, it was good. Thank you so much, mister. Uh, let's see. Next one. Who wants to be the next one? Another volunteer. Teacher. Me. Miguel. Go ahead. I don't, I don't know if this is the right teacher. Try it. We will okay. check. Okay. You, you should practice every day. You should watch video or the series in English. I shall get vocabulary of, of new words. You should speak. Uh, how do you say contigo mismo? You should talk to yourself. 
Talk. Repeat, please. Talk. Talk. You should talk to yourself. Okay. Uh, I shall. I shall speak. I shall speak with yourself. And uh, you, you shall use a mirror. We uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you should write English every day. Only. Okay, good, Mister. The ideas are good, so that's. Uh, that's good. The ideas were excellent. Cuidado con la pronunciación del should. Sería should. Okay, that's the pronunciation. Should. Should. Okay. Speak and talk. Los dos significan hablar. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de speak and talk? Speak is my ability. Okay. Speak is my ability. Talk is the action. I speak English. I talk to you. Okay. That's how you use it. I talk to myself. Hablo a mí mismo. I speak fast. I speak English fast. Speak es más la, la habilidad. El talk es más la acción de hablar. Okay, that's the difference. Let's see. And try to provide more details. Un poquito más de detalles. Try to give more information. That's going to help us. But it was good. It was good. Just to begin, it was really, really good. So let's see. Next person. Who wants to be the next one, guys? I like it. We are practicing a lot of people. Continuemos. Who wants to be the next one? Need two volunteers more. The voluntarios más, guys. Me? Yes, good. Excellent, mister. Tell me. Okay. Tell me about I... yourself. Tell me about yourself. Okay. Tell me about your answer. What should I do if I want to improve my English? Okay. I want to improve my English. And I should practice more to English. I should speak to English. I shall read more English and I shall read, watch movies with hood, with hood subtitles in English. I shall read, chat in Spanish. I shall read, listen to music in Spanish. Finish. Good. Why you shouldn't listen to music in Spanish? Why not? Um, for improve my English. Good, excellent. To improve my English. To improve my English. Remember, reasons, ocupamos el to. Uh, good job. Excellent, mister. Just try to add more information, okay? Uh, tell me the reasons why. Not only what, but why. Para qué? Para mejorar nuestro inglés, to get more vocabulary, to give more details. That's going to help us a lot. Okay. And let's see the last volunteer of this round. Yeah, teacher. Excellent. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Sandra, tell me. What should I do to improve my English? Okay, uh, we'll take classes. Why talk, uh, talk will help and um, you will also meet new people. Um, let's go to watch series on movies. What help and um, will have 
film watching TV, Netflix, I don't know, is the streaming. Um, and three, I will you uh, like to meet a friend who live in the USA? What so you can live and make a new friend? I think you will, will be able to have confidence and you have fluency by pronunciation only. Good job. Excellent, lady. I like it. You try to give more details. And it was good. Be careful with pronunciation of some words. You, would you like to meet a friend who, don't say who, who, okay? Who speaks English, who lives in the United States, and so on, okay. okay? Let's see another thing. Uh, I think you said the whole, the whole paragraph, whole text, whole. The pronunciation is whole, entero, completo, whole. The whole thing, okay? Besides that, just look, work on the pronunciation, try to get more vocabulary as you did it in this time and it will work. Thank you so much. So guys, así ocupamos el should. That's how we are going to use should, okay? Um, do you have any question with should? I think we are good. Tratemos de proveer más detalles, people. Try to give more details. Try to provide more information. Practicar, eso nos va a ayudar bastante. Ya tenemos que ir eh, tratando de decir más cosas, guys. Ya estamos a medio camino de terminar el básico. Luego, en otros tres meses, you will go to intermediate. In intermediate, you need to speak more. Ya tenemos que ir bien pulidos. Entonces, ahorita es el momento... Today is the moment of practicing, okay? Practice, practice, practice. That's going to help us a lot. Let's see, guys. Give me just a second. Uh, let's see. Let's go to our book. Okay, page 39. So people, we have a little conversation, Raul and Claudia. So listen to this one, get the new vocabulary and let's go. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Todo junto. No digan believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You are right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. Polite. Cortez. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Instead, en vez. Deberíamos en vez de eso ayudarlo. We should help him instead. Okay? That's not polite either. Tampoco. That's not polite either. Uh, meetings. That means reunions, right? Meetings. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Polite. Polite. Cortez. 
polite. Absolutely. Totalmente de acuerdo. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's not polite. Absolutely. That's not pol polite. Believe it. Creerlo. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. So people, let's see. Help me right now. Uh, please. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Do you have uh, a question? What the meaning of either? Either, tampoco. Thank you. We should... Uh, that's not polite either. We should not talk about him. Tampoco eso es cortés. That's not polite either. Tampoco eso es cortés. So, let's see. Jennifer, can you help me? Can you be Claudia? And okay. Nelson, can you be Raul? Are you there, Nelson? Yeah. Great. Let's go, guys. One, okay. two, three. Let's go. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not sat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. Polite. <laughs> he should answer his message after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not what it's either. Agree. We shall help him instead. 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 Okay. Let's see. Nelson, repeat after me. He should answer. La W no suena. He should answer. He should answer. Should. No diga should. Should. He should, should answer. He should answer. Good. That's not polite either. That's not polite either. That's not polite either. We should not talk. We should not talk. We should not talk. We should not talk. Repeat again. We should not talk. We should not talk. Excellent. That's the way it goes. Okay. That's the way, people. Let's see. Uh, Sandra, can you help me? Can you be Raul this time? And Miguel, can you be Claudia? Okay. One, two, three, go. I can't believe it is probably addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. Uh, she should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely, that is not a lie. She should answer his messages as much as messages after the meeting. And we should not talk about him that noise polit Aiden. Agree we should help. Agree we should help him help him instead. Okay, let's see. Sandra, repeat after me. He should answer his messages after the meetings. Um he um he should uh, answer he should, he should, uh, should he should answer, answer his messages he, his messages messy messages messages after the meetings Af after the meeting and we repeat we should not talk and we should not talk, talk. And we should not talk about him. 
and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. That's, that's not polite either. 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 Good. Repeat, Nelson. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. Nelson? Okay, I think he disappeared into the darkness. Let's see. Carla, can you help me now? Can you be Claudia? And let's see if Diego can be Raul. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. Is the is the, the pronunciation is instead. 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 Sí, lo, lo puse mal. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Instead. Unido, people. Okay, guys, let's go, please. No? Okay. No. People. Uh -huh, go ahead. A mí me dijo Raúl va. Ya, yeah, you are Raúl. No tenemos Claudia. Entonces, I am Claudia. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Yes, Diego. Uh, you are right. She shall not chat in a minute. Absolutely. That is not polite. She shall answer his messenger after the minute. And we shall not talk about him at no pola polite either. Excellent. That's it. People, this is something you can go ahead and practice. Practice dialogues. Ustedes mismos crean sus diálogos. Incluso, people, now is super easy to practice. You can go, for example, there are some tools like Let's see. There are some tools that we can use now. For example, you can go to I don't know, like you can go to ChatGPT. That's really good tool. You can ask this tool Póngale, even in Spanish. You can go ahead and do it. Look, hey, y ahí le puede poner el nivel. Uh, basic level. It's too complicated para mí. So basic level. 
Look, that's what it is. You practice this one. Okay. So you can do that. There are a lot of tools now. You can go ahead. ChatGPT is one of them. Ustedes pueden ocuparla. Ahora las inteligencias artificiales, they are super important. Try to, to see how you can use them to learn languages, for example. That's something you can go with and practice it. Uh, I send you there the, the link. So you can go ahead and use it. People, hay un montón de formas en las que podemos hacer. And let's see. Let's see. People, we will have a little presentation for tomorrow. Try it. Try to do that. Este sí, la verdad es bien fácil. Usted puede ir jugando con esto. Uh, si ve lo que le está dando es muy complicado. Póngale. Um, you should drink water every day. Yes, you should drink water. Y ahí mire, ve, súper fácil. So, yes, you should listening. Should I cross the street when the traffic light is green? No, you shouldn't. You should cross the street when the light is red. Ahí vaya, usted tiene un montón. Puede practicar cualquier cosa. Dem, dame ejemplos. Give me. Oh, no. En español, you can even. El mío me lo da en inglés porque yo lo tengo en inglés, right? Pero también está en español. You can use it in Spanish. So, le va a dar todo eso. And that's it. That's how you can use it. That's something you might try. Super buenísima herramienta esta. So, you can practice with it. Pregúntele, ¿cuáles son los mejores canales para ver eh, series en inglés? O you can ask... What series do you recommend? Toda pregunta que usted me pueda hacer a mí. Mister, mire, ¿qué música puedo escuchar para aprender inglés? Pregúnteselo del chat GPT. Puede preguntárselo, pero sea bien específico. ¿Cuál sería una música con letras súper fáciles para aprender inglés y que no tenga tanto, no sé, whatever, y que no tenga mucho texto? Y le va a dar opciones. So, we have... Nunca ha sido más fácil poder aprender un idioma que ahora, people. You can do it. I remember, me acuerdo cuando I started in the university back in 2010. Todavía no era tan famoso el internet. No habían celulares para instalar aplicaciones. A menos que usted tuviera pisto. And I was a poor guy. So I didn't have that much money. Eh... Was kind of difficult, pero todavía se podía. Iba al ciber, bajaba series, and stuff like that. Now, it's super simple. You only go to your tablet, go to your cell phone, and you look for the information that you want. Hay aplicaciones, hay un montón de aplicaciones. Duolingo no es la única. Está Mesmerize, está Drops. Eh, Duolingo es gratis, Drops es casi gratis, pero no. Uh, what are others? There are a lot of apps you can try. Montón de aplicaciones, montón de cursos que usted puede encontrar en YouTube. Puede buscar, busque 100 verbos en, en inglés en YouTube y ahí se los va a mostrar. So there are a lot of things you can try. People for tomorrow. This is the question. I'm sorry. This is the question that I have for you. Mañana tenemos una pequeña mini presentación. What three places should I visit in El Salvador? 
¿Cuáles son tres lugares que debería de visitar? Tell me the reason why. Díganme por qué debería ir ahí. Tell me some info about the places. Ok, la presentación va a ser de two minutes. And it will be in pairs. Va a ser en parejas. Ok, so two minutes significa un minuto por persona. Three places. What should I visit in El Salvador? Hey, you should go to El Tunco Beach because it's a beautiful beach. You can go, you should go to, to the restaurants in the Tunco Beach. The food is very delicious. You can eat fish, you can eat blah, 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 blah. You should go to another place. You should go to... El Balsamar Forest. It's very nice adventure. This is in San Julian. So uh, you go to the waterfall. You can take pictures. Also, you should go to uh, Playa Dorada. It's in Sonsonate too. It's a very beautiful place you can visit. And the last place you should Come to San Salvador. You can go to La Gran Vía. You can go to the cinema in La Gran Vía, Cinemark. You can go to, to Multiplaza. In Multiplaza, you can eat a lot of food. You can go to La Calaca, or you should go to here, and you should go there. You should go to blah, blah, blah. Usted le dice. Okay? People, you are going to present this information. Let's do something. Organicemos nuestra presentación ahorita. And... Let's work in pairs. Uh, teacher. Do you want... Uh Aha, -huh, tell me. Eh, disculpe, es que me levanté un momento y no escuché la indicación que está dando sobre una presentación. Ahí están en el chat lo, el tema que es What three places should I visit in El Salvador? Usted me va a decir las razones por qué debería ir a ese lugar Va a ser en parejas. Vamos a crear las parejas ahorita. En la presentación will be two minutes long. Ok. That will be for tomorrow. Ok. People. ¿Quieren trabajar con alguien en específico? Yes. Ok. Yes. Give me a second. Wait a minute. Ok, díganme, ¿con quién quieren trabajar, people? Eh, Marvin Pineda with Jacqueline Dubón. Marvin and Jacqueline, ok. Let's see. Me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Dime a second. Dime en un segundo. Me abruma la tecnología. Marvin <laughs> and Jacqueline. Good. ¿Quién es la otra pareja? Miguel. Miguel and Jennifer. Miguel and Jenny. Ok. Otra pareja, people. Another couple. You would like to work with. Alguien más. Ok. Ah, pues yo selecciono. Sandra, please work with. You will work with with Kenya. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Diego, you work with Freddy's. Si no está su pareja, después se ponen de acuerdo. Y si en el peor de los casos su pareja no apareció, no existió, no hizo nada, don't worry. Hágalo usted. Ok, trate de llegar a los dos minutos. Así que no se preocupe. So, let's see. Luis and Morris. Ok, teacher. Let's see. Next one. I will select Nelson and Nestor. You together. 
Walter in Kevin. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Ahorita no pueden participar. Carmen and Reina, you go together. Y finalmente, Karen and Carla, you go together. Okay. People, acuérdense, el propósito de esto no es que lo lea. Don't read it. Simple, en palabras simples. You should go to eat pupusa si no lo cuelta. You, I recommend you, eh, loroco, pupusas, whatever. Okay. You can, podemos ocupar el verbo can. ¿Qué se puede hacer ahí? You can go to eat pupusas. You can take pictures. You can go to the airport. It's very close. Whatever. Okay. Yes, Reina, T, eh, Carmen and Reina, you together. Ahorita vamos a get together with your group. Pónganse ahí de acuerdo. What to do. Y ya dijimos, si no, si no está trabajando con nadie, you do it alone. It doesn't matter. No importa, people. Let's go. Let's do it. Hello, hello, teacher. Yes, people, tell me. 
uh, tenemos acá un debate. Eh, ¿Cuál ¿Verdad es el que debate? serían, serían tres lugares por persona? En total. O sea, ah, según yo, yo le iba a recomendar tres, tres lugares a Nelson. Y Nelson. No, no es, re, no, es, no es un roleplay, no es como una dramatización. Solo me mencionan los tres lugares. No sé, Néstor puede decirme usted eh, la Cosa bueno, del Sol y viene Nelson, me dice Apulo y, y La Palma. And that's it. Ok, you divide. ¿Cómo lo van a hacer? Quizás pueden compartir uno. Compartan La Palma, por ejemplo. Mm, ok. okay. Two yeah, minutes. Okay. You need to speak for two minutes. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Great. Just organize right now. We do it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Nesto. Hola.
Let's wait for everybody, guys. People, tomorrow we will pass. Así que organize with your couple. So we are going to do it tomorrow. And that's basically it. Okay? Recuerden la tarea del foro. No el foro, el post que tenemos que comentar ya está ahí en su classroom. Go to the activity. Y ahí va a ver la pregunta. Y la hace. La pregunta es, how were you as a kid? ¿Cómo era usted de niño? So, try to provide details, and that's it. So, people, we finished today's class. I'll see you tomorrow. Do you have any question before we finish? No. No? No. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So, guys, that's it. I'll okay. see you tomorrow. Get to get, eh, pónganse y organícense con su pareja. And that's it. Si no, usted solo, dijimos. Bye, people. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, see guys. You tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.